During this video, no person, judge, contestant, vocal coach, singer, crew member, or other human being or animal except Teresa was harmed. Nobody knows who Teresa is, but she does. If you're interested in Teresa, she is currently single. The clips in this video are not owned by me, obviously. I'm not that rich, but I'm sure Sam and Carl wouldn't mind me using them in order to educate the world. <laughs> Let me kick off this video by saying this is not a video about singing mistakes. I'm going to leave that to the professional vocal coaches. This is a video to talk about the mistakes that the judges or contestants at X Factor Italia make when singing or speaking in English. Using the mistakes made in the first two live episodes of X Factor Italia, I'm going to show you how to quickly fix them. We all make mistakes after all. Yes, even me. The first one I want to bring up is a mistake created thanks to homographs. The word tear and tear are not the same, even if they're spelt the same way. One means to pull something apart by force, and one is the salty liquid that comes out of your eye when you cry. But here we have a problem. Judge Malika introduced her singer singing Love Will Tear Us Apart, using the wrong pronunciation. Thankfully, the singer didn't. Well done, Enrico. Pity you were eliminated the week after. Per noi questa sera canta Love Will Tear Us Apart dei Joy Division, Enrico Di Lauro. Malika should be careful though because she actually has Love Will Tear Us Apart tattooed on her skin, here. So she needs to learn the pronunciation. When asked by Sfera, what does your tattoo say? She said, Love Will Tear Us Apart. And nobody corrected her. Davide has a little problem too. Either with tears or cheese up his spine. I still can't figure out which. It is quite usual for foreign people to have a problem with the long sounds in English. Here in this line, Davide keeps the vowel sound too long and so changes the word chills into tears or cheese. Have a listen and see what you hear. There were cheers up my spine. Remember in English, if you make the vowel sound too long, it changes the word totally. But I like the idea of having cheese up my spine. Preferably Lancashire. Again on the subject of long vowel sound. Jordana actually did the opposite. When it should have been long, she made it short. In fact, in the opening of the second show, she was slipping alone. Couldn't she find somebody else to slip with her? Or maybe she meant sleep. Slipping without you. The harp is a beautiful instrument. When Jordana plays it, it's very angelic as it should be. Don't all angels have a harp? Jordana's main problem with her singing, apart from inventing half of the words in the song, booty booty boosa, <laughs> is actually an easy problem to fix. One other little problem she had was when she pronounced the word num. She didn't pronounce it num, she pronounced it numb, which as you can imagine is not very angelic. In English, when you find a word that finishes with MB, we don't pronounce the B. For example, climb, comb, num, bomb. When MB is in the middle of a word, it depends. For example, amber, we pronounce the B, but plumber, we don't. So phonetics is important in this case. Now, another little problem is when the R is overpronounced, like a helicopter. When there is an R after a vowel in an English word, we don't pronounce it unless you're American. Also, tired is tired, not tired. The R is not pronounced. And colours is colours, not colours. Still on the subject of the R being overpronounced, let's look at the example by C words, who I really like. From the she said from, the R is soft. From, not from. Now I really like Sfera as a judge. I've not actually heard any of his music, but his makeup is really good. When he introduced his first contestant, who was actually eliminated in the first week, I'm sure it wasn't his fault because of the pronunciation, he introduced the song Juice as Jewish or Juice or something similar. Con Juice di Lizzo, Maria! Remember, when there is a UI, it's pronounced OO. We don't say Fruit Juice, we say Fruit Juice. Fruit Juice. Buddha, Buddha, Buddha. Buddha is a band being mentored by Judge Samuel from Subsonica. Please, Samuel, please make them sing in Italian if they can't sing in English. 
I only heard one word in the first performance. The word cunt. Well, that and a sprinkling of others, but that one was the main one I heard. Only a few other things to finish this video. Alessandro, I love you, but funding is pronounced funding and not founding. Funding. And another little message to Samuel, please watch my video of the top 10 English words pronounced badly by Italians. In there you will find the correct pronunciation of performance.